Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Marion at TM and welcome back to a brand new video. I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, Marin, where have you been the last two weeks? And the simple answer is that my mental health has been terrible. I had to take a break and understand how much all of this actually means to me. And I've come to realize that even though I was going through a pretty shitty period, there is nothing I want to do more than make YouTube videos and be in the community that we have created together. For the following 23 days, I will be uploading one video every day until Christmas and I'm gonna end this intro off by saying thank you so much for everything and for just being the best community on YouTube. I don't know what I did to deserve all of this, but you guys truly make me happy. With that said, let's get started with today's video, which is quite the banger. The first aspect of finding the perfect duo partner is finding somebody you enjoy playing with and vibe with. If you check every other point made in this video, but not this one, then your duo partner is not the most optimal you can find. I've found that if you play with somebody you actually have a super good time playing with, you will perform better both individually and as a team in Fortnite tournaments. In addition to that, you will be able to grind 10 times as much with somebody you vibe with, compared to somebody you don't share anything with and only play with because they have good achievements. It's also easier to keep a good mentality with somebody you consider a friend as a duo partner, rather than some random guy you're just playing with for money, essentially. Having a partner you vibe with will ultimately end up not only making you and your duo partner better players, but it's way better for the long term. If you find somebody you can grind with and have fun with now, you can play the next season with the same dude, and the next season after that, and the next one after that. The chemistry you guys will be building together will be unmatched, and you will reach the top together as a duo. Alrighty guys, so the next thing I want to talk about is how to find somebody to play with. So, finding somebody to play with can be very difficult, especially if you don't have a lot of friends that play Fortnite, or if you're not in a specific friend group. So, what I usually like to do if I can't find anyone to play with, is to go into these custom Discord servers that pretty much are open to anyone. For instance, East Open. This one is open to everybody, and I'm from Europe, obviously, but this one is for NA East, so if you are from NA East, this is gonna be more relevant than to me. And then you can go down to the room called Looking for Players. And right here, you can not only look for players, but you can also look for duo partners and write your achievements. This is a great way to find people to play with and expand your friend group. This is something I've been doing for years, and something I probably started doing when I was about 10 years old. This is the easiest way to find somebody to play with, but keep in mind, a lot of these players aren't the best, so you have to be very patient, be on the lookout for good players, and then when you play with them, make sure that they're not like rude or anything, because you don't want to play with those guys. I've been in these looking for group chat rooms multiple times, most pretty big discords have them guys, so you can just go into any big discord you are in and see if you can find a looking for player or looking for group chat room, and then you can see if somebody needs a duo you can try out with, and then often, when I tried with those people, they were like blaming me for everything when they died. I think a lot of these players think they are better than they actually are. And if they're like that, I would usually just remove them and say, yo, dude, this is not gonna work. I really actually kind of don't enjoy playing with you. And then you keep on moving. And then ultimately you find somebody that you actually enjoy playing with. And then you can play and grind to become the best. That is a super easy way to find somebody to play with. Most discords have them right here looking for group. Frey, X, and Dreda Customs, everybody has like this room or every Discord server or other, so make sure to check that out. It should be in every big Discord you are in. So yeah, that's a great way to find somebody to play with. Coming in third, we have to talk about achievements and PR. If you don't know what PR is, don't be worried and let me explain. PR stands for Power Rankings, and is a measurement in points of how good you have been placing in previous tournaments. There are two main PR websites. FortniteTracker.com and Fortnite Gamepedia. Fortnite Tracker is the one beginners and semi-pros use, whilst Fortnite Gamepedia is one most pros use to check out how their potential Fortnite partners have been playing recently. The good thing about Fortnite Tracker is the fact that every event you've placed top 10,000 in is on their website. Fortnite Gamepedia, however, is usually only top 100 placements meaning it is harder to get PR on Gamepedia compared to Fortnite Tracker. Okay, so the first website we're going to be checking out is FortniteTracker.com. So this website is a bit more comprehensive than Gamepedia. It has more placements and it's an overall better website in my very own opinion. But that doesn't mean it's more popular in the competitive environment because it definitely isn't. 
Most people use Gamepedia if they have some Gamepedia PR. But some people, they don't have any Gamepedia PR. Or most people don't have any Gamepedia PR. Uh, so that's why I wanted to include Fortnite Tracker in this video. I personally like it better. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for saying that. But I like Fortnite Tracker a little bit more than Gamepedia because I'm not the best player. So when you're on Fortnite Tracker, you can search for a epic name. So for the sake of the video, let's search up BL Marin TM. That is me. As you all know, that is my Fortnite GN. My name become Legends and my name is Marin TM. Thank you for understanding and thank you for knowing. Uh, once you're on this page, you want to go to events. And then when you're on events, the first things I usually look at is their power rankings, what position they are in Europe and their earnings. So as you can see, I have $800 earnings. 4,133 power rankings, and I am number 1,995 in Europe. I also like to take a look at this graph right here, and as you can see, my graph has not been exponential, which is bad. If the graph goes straight upwards, that means that the player you are looking at is on a come up, and he's become better and better and better and better over time. That is not the case for me, I'm a content creator, I haven't been focusing on competitive at all in the past, I just recently started, as you all know, and I've been enjoying every single hour I've been putting into Fortnite. So when you're here, you can also scroll down a little bit to see my recent events. And as you can see, I have a 1463rd in the Trio Cash Cup, a 122nd in the Trio Cash Cup, once again, and 930 seconds in the DreamHack Open Heats. I think you guys get the drill. You can check pretty much every single tournament result that I have been playing in that I've gotten top 10,000 in. This is only top 10,000, so if you are a player that usually places outside of the top 10,000, then your placement will not be on this website. So that is pretty much Fortnite Tracker, and I would recommend everybody to take a look at themselves on Fortnite Tracker, check out how they've been doing, how much PR you have, and your achievements. Talking about achievements though, we gotta head on over to Fortnite Gamepedia. Fortnite Gamepedia, as said, is a bit harder website to get power rankings on. So on Fortnite Gamepedia, if we search up Marin TM, I have 2,250 power rankings and not 4,133 as I do on Fortnite Tracker. This is because, once again, it is way harder to get Fortnite Gamepedia PR compared to Fortnite Tracker PR. So right here, I have 2,250. I have one achievement in 2020, as you can see here, which is a solo cash cup. And I have 1,600 PR in 2019, which isn't bad, and 300 in 2018. So let's, for instance, search up Buga on this website. Let's see how much PR he has. Buga has 63,975 PR this year, which is incredible. And this website is so good to understand how good your duo or potential duo actually is. So I would recommend you guys to check out both Fortnite Tracker and Gamepedia before choosing somebody to play with. You obviously always want to try to find somebody that you enjoy playing with and that they have better achievements than you. But it doesn't matter if you enjoy playing with him a lot, it doesn't matter if he has worse achievements than you at all, because you can build yourself up as a duo together. Guys, those are my best tips to find an amazing duo for upcoming tournaments. We obviously don't know what the next game mode is gonna be, but these are some tips that I generally apply when looking for a trio, a squad, or a duo. So thank you so much for watching the first episode of Marin Mass. I truly do appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the same time. Good luck getting that perfect duo. And thank you once again for watching today's video. Goodbye and have an amazing day.